Hi, Chris Nelgrove here with Reputation Sensei. Back as promised from the previous video to break down the Reputation Cycle Marketing Diagram. It details the specific online marketing strategy that can help you attract more new patients to your practice. This is the exact formula that we use with our healthcare clients that have documented case studies demonstrating 25 to 60% increases in new patient volumes when implemented. And by the way, if you're just joining us and wondering what we're talking about, who this is for, we're sharing our Reputation Cycle Marketing Strategy and I'm gonna break it down for you today so that you have a full understanding of how it works and why it's so powerful. So if you're a doctor, own a medical practice or a practice administrator, and you're not currently satisfied with the number of new patients coming in each month, you're gonna to wanna to see this. And a little disclaimer here, you don't have to buy our service to put this strategy to work. In fact, once you understand how it works, you can implement it yourself. So in a few moments, I'm gonna break it down for you, but before we get started, let me introduce myself and my company. Who are we? We are Reputation Sensei powered by Digital Media Nation. We are first and foremost traffic experts. We know how to generate new patient growth utilizing a very innovative marketing strategy. And I got into this business because I like helping people grow their businesses and achieve success. I spent over 25 years in the automotive marketing sector and you learn a lot about driving traffic in that industry. But today I wanna to help my clients do more than drive traffic to their business. I wanna help them get better at their customer experience or in your case, patient experience, and the reason why is this, you can attract all the new patients you want, but if your team isn't delivering on an excellent patient experience, you're gonna lose patients bottom line. So part of what we do as consultants is focus on helping our clients coach their team to execute the best possible patient experience, and this brings your patients back time and time again. Next, we offer a full turnkey solution that combines process, people, and technology, and we provide this service at a rate that quite frankly, most of our clients find hard to believe. So next, we're selective. We don't take on all clients. If you currently have a negative online reputation because your team isn't executing a great patient experience, we may have to pass. However, if you have a desire to improve in this area, we will consider your practice. And lastly, we are considered experts in the industry. We speak at conferences sharing our expertise. We have case studies, testimonials, and reviews that all say the same thing. When you implement a reputation cycle marketing strategy into your business, revenues increase. So what is this reputation cycle marketing? Reputation cycle marketing, or RCM as we call it, can be best described as increasing patient volumes with a specific online reputation strategy that focuses on patient experience and marketing. So how does it work? This marketing strategy is unique because it uses your reviews as a marketing channel to communicate your patient experience to the online market in your area. Secondly, it helps you dominate search results. So which really gives you the competitive advantage on Google. More on this later. It also includes reputation management, which includes review generation, review site monitoring, and new review alerts. All this is designed to improve your patient experience because you are getting continuous feedback on your patient encounters, thus allowing you to constantly improve your patient experience. And last but not least, reputation marketing. This is the money maker. This is the process of transforming your reviews into marketing assets to distribute in the local area to communicate that you're the medical practice that people can trust. So now the one thing that I want you to understand is when you put this process in place, dramatic results occur and they occur for one reason. They occur because of the core concept of reputation marketing. We know now that there's a direct correlation between increasing your online reviews and ratings and marketing them to increased practice revenues. We're gonna share with you some case studies that are so dramatic they literally transformed the business and added hundreds of thousands of bottom line profits for our clients. So now that you know what results occur, when you put the strategy into play, let's take a look at why it's so effective. The reason is simple. This is the new norm. Fact number one, 72% of patients now use online reviews to guide most of their provider decisions. This is the way people are shopping for services online. They go online and they're looking at reviews. Fact number two, this strategy is so effective because it's about creating trust. The latest research by NRC Health revealed that 83% of patients trust online reviews more than recommendations. So by this very fact, this means we can use online reviews to build trust, to actually use them to attract more new patients to your business. We're gonna share with you how Reputation Cycle Marketing does this for you. So here's the diagram we promised you. We're gonna break it down. Typically, you need to take off your healthcare hat here because the way you shop for services if you're a doctor or office manager in the healthcare space is quite different than us common folks. We don't have the luxury of picking up the phone and calling a fellow colleague in the healthcare industry that you know and asking them for a recommendation. Typically, most people will go online, they may reference their insurance, many people now go to their social channels, 
and are asking who would you recommend. Uh, so there's a few ways that they're gonna get to your office, perhaps Google, but these patients come into your office and the most important part of the strategy here, here is that these folks need to have a great patient experience inside your practice. This is so important. So oftentimes we ask at this point, how does your team deliver on the patient experience today, right now? If you're not firing on all cylinders and delighting your customers, I know it's weird calling your patients customers, but that's what they really are. Um, but you need to be paying attention to this part of your business. Because quite frankly, if you're not paying attention and you don't have a pulse on this part of your business, you will experience churn. And that's a pretty way of saying patients leaving your practice and going somewhere else. So hopefully your team is doing a good job with PX or at least working on improving it. So once the patient completes their appointment and leaves the office, a review request is sent out. We call this reputation management and many companies do this. Hopefully you're doing this on some level currently. If you're not, I will bet you don't have a lot of good reviews uh, because we know from our experience in this field that if you don't have a process in place to generate positive feedback, the only time you'll get it is when people are upset. So the patient has now left the office. They get a review request. They may or may not leave a review for that reason. We recommend your staff having a conversation with your patients as they're leaving your office, communicating to them that in order to ensure that the company, that your company is del delivering the best possible patient care, uh, you know, you would appreciate some feedback on the experience that they had in your office. So the, the idea here is to get a review. Now, most reputation management companies stop here. They actually generate a review and then they're done. That's where reputation marketing kicks in and converts the reviews into marketing assets. The idea is to take your positive reviews from wherever they're at, Google, Facebook, Yelp, Health Grades, and push them to your website. Transform them into marketing asset, transform them to your website, your social media channels, and even online ads. The idea is for them to become trust triggers for people in your local area uh, to, to see your practice. Now, we'll show you exactly how to do this later in detail, but here's what happens when you do this. When you begin to create trust triggers in the local uh, market, you're going to penetrate your patient's social network. Suddenly, your reviews are being seen by people that aren't even connected to your business. This is the power of social media marketing and networking. And, and so as you begin to use the voice of patients in your marketing, validation occurs and more people visit your Google listing, your website, and social media channels. And during this time, your reviews and ratings are increasing at a rapid rate, and suddenly you're dominating search results and then people begin to flow into your practice. New patient counts increase and revenue fo revenues follow. So when you put this process in place, there's a cyclical effect. The more people you begin to feed into the practice with this strategy, the more reviews you drink, the more trust you communicate in the local market, and the more people flow into your practice. So let's look at this strategy in action. Now this is a case study of what's possible when you implement reputation cycle marketing. This is a practice that two years ago had struggled with new patient acquisition. They were relying heavily on Google and just weren't bringing in as many new patients as needed. They identified that their online ratings and reviews were not as prominent as they wanted them to be. They didn't have a bad reputation, they just didn't have a lot of reviews online. So they weren't competing in search results. So they saw this as a barrier to attracting new patients from online sources. They hired our company in June of 2018. We rolled out Reputation Cycle Marketing, which is Reputation Sensei, and we helped them generate 456 new Google reviews and 54 new Facebook reviews. This represented an 844% increase in new reviews for a total of 510 total reviews. This grew their ratings from a 4.5 to a 4.9. They saw their patient experience improve as a result of getting all that feedback. We helped them market out their patient experience as a result. They experienced a 60% growth in new patients. Now you can do the math on this revenue. If you're on this call, you should know the lifetime value of a patient. How much money did Reputation Cycle Marketing just make this company? Remarkable story. Now here's what I want you to note. When you take a look at how the ratings and reviews increased and they tracked the new patient growth followed. So there's a direct correlation between increasing your online reviews and ratings and new patient growth. And we see this consistently when you put this process in place. Now, Dr. Benarok talks about what a, a positive experience he's had as a result of implementing this strategy. But rather than me tell you what he said, let's have him tell it. Hey, this is uh, Roy Benarok. I'm one of the practice owners here at Pediatric Physicians PC. We're having a super successful year in large part because of Reputation Sensei and the relationship that we have developed with them. We have been working 
with Reputation Sensei for about 18 months, and uh, we couldn't be happier. They're doing a great job. Uh, we've seen new patient encounters increase by about 60%, which is which is huge, I will tell you. Uh, and in large part, it's because of uh, we're, we're making very, very good use of our positive Google reviews. Uh, we had a, we've always had a good reputation. Our patients have loved us, but what we've been able to do with Reputation Sensei's help is uh, get those published, get those out there, make sure that people are seeing them. Uh, we know that the number one source of new patients for our practice is actually Google, of all things. And you know, you gotta move with the time. So now when you search for a pediatrician in this community, you're gonna find us up at the top and you're gonna find our positive reviews. And that's really helped get people through the doors. So thank you to Reputation Sensei. So you can see from Dr. Benrock himself, when you put this program into play, great things happen for your practice. So we're gonna show you exactly how to execute this strategy in just a moment. But first, I wanna back up and step you through how patients are making provider decisions one more time. And by having a good understanding of this, will give you great insight on how to attract more people. So let's take a look at how many people find a new provider today. And again, you may have to take off your hat here. If you're a doctor or practice administrator, the way you shop for services is quite different. So the average prospective patient goes online. They're gonna search Google. 91% of searches start with Google and you come up with typically a search engine results page. That's called SERP. So a search return page. And you know, the idea here is to be highly competitive. You wanna dominate this in your area. And this is a good exercise, by the way, if you haven't done it, go to the area that you go online, search for the specialty that you offer in the area that you do and see how you compare against your competition right now. It's one of the best exercises you can do. You wanna see how you stack up against the competition because this will determine how many people are being attracted to you. So most people are making decisions based on this search engine results page. And what they're looking at here, they're, they're, they're looking at reviews. They're seeing what others are saying about your business because every company on the face of the planet says they're the best, right? But typically what consumers and prospective patients trust more today is what your patients are saying. And they're saying it in your reviews. So they're reading the reviews, they're looking for trust triggers. So they're also going to your website. Does your website have trust triggers on it? Meaning testimonials, meaning reviews. Uh, are, are you using the voice of your patient to communicate trust on your website to convert more people to coming into your office? They're also going to your social media channels. So are, are you communicating trust there? Are you taking your reviews and broadcasting them there? Because again, this is building trust in the online social space that you're the company to do business with. And when you do all these things, here's what occurs. New patients come in and you attract them to your business. This strategy gives you the competitive advantage. So we're gonna take a look at, in detail, a search engine's results page. So which one of these practices on this page has the competitive advantage? So let's just take a look. Is it the one, when, when you search for dermatologist in Nashville, Tennessee, is it the one with no reviews? Probably not. No reviews communicates no trust, right? How about the one with a 2.8? 2.8, you're not attracting a whole lot of people with a 2.8. 2.8, would you eat at a 2.8 rated restaurant or stay in a 2.8 rated hotel? I think not. How about the 5.0? After all, that's the highest score on the page, right? Are people going to be in, you know, inclined to go to this one? Maybe not because it only has four Google reviews and four Google reviews doesn't exactly communicate trust. People today are looking for more than just ratings and we'll get to this in just a moment. So how about the 4.3 with 188 Google reviews? So even though the 4.3 is a lower rated business, it has more validation and creates more trust because these guys consistently demonstrate that they do a great job with the patient experience. 188 Google reviews at a 4.3 is an excellent rating. You gotta be over four stars. So let's take a look at one more search term that is becoming very popular. Whenever you use the search term best in any Google search, guess what it does? It's gonna filter out anyone below four stars. So if you're not four stars or higher, someone puts in best, you're not even on the map. So it's very important that you uh, get above four stars as fast as possible. But this is becoming more and more popular. And by the way, you can do this for a car dealer, HVAC, plumber, whatever service you're looking for. Add the search term best, and you'll only see the four star and higher rated companies. Okay, and lastly, we're going to take a look at the anatomy of a Google My Business listing. So when consumers and prospective patients look at reviews, they're considering a few things. The rating, of course, you want to have a higher rating, you got to be over four stars. They're also looking at the quantity of reviews that you have. 
Um, the number of reviews that are very important. You got to get up and over 100 as quickly as possible. But also looking at the content of the reviews, what your patients are saying. Are they communicating the story of doing business with you? They're also looking at the response. Is the company responding? Oftentimes in healthcare, we see a reluctance to respond out of fear of not being HIPAA compliant. Very important that you respond um, because you got to, you know, this, this communicates that you care and that you're, you're a um, company that, that values feedback. And lastly, this is the big one, frequency and recency, and this is how often your business is getting reviews. In a study conducted last year by Bright Local, when they asked how recent does a review need to be to impact your decision, 40% of the people said within a two-week period, and 30% of the people said within 30 days. You add those two together, 70% of people only care about reviews that were written in the last 30 days. Okay, so the real question is this. This is the new norm. This is how people are making provider decisions. So the real question is how do you as a provider take advantage and tap into this area to attract more new patients to your practice? And the answer is Reputation Cycle Marketing by Reputation Sensei. So this is the strategy that we implement and, and put into place that immediately will impact your new patient counts and your revenues. Here's how it works at a very high level. So patient comes in and has a positive experience. When the patient leaves, they receive a re review request and then the patient publishes a review. Now, what we do at this point is we don't, we don't just generate reviews, we actually transform those reviews into marketing assets for your business. So this is about transforming the reviews uh, into marketing assets to use. And then we're gonna distribute it to your online channels, such as your website, social media, online ads. And then that perspective, um, uh, then prospective patients are seeing that marketing asset, it's building trust. And once it's built trust, it's gonna attract more people to you. And then the process starts over and over. Again, it has a cyclical effect. And this is a very high level explanation. We're gonna drill down into specifically how you execute this next. So four, four objectives with Reputation Sensei. First and foremost, improve your patient experience. Whatever patient experience you have now, we wanna make it better. Secondly, increase your ratings and reviews. Next, dominate search results. Whenever someone's searching your area for the specialty that you offer, we want our clients to dominate that search result. And then lastly, convert those reviews into revenue. If you're gonna take the time to generate reviews, we think you should be using them to build trust to attract more new patients to your practice. So first and foremost is you know, improving your patient experience. So training your team on gathering feedback, very important. Having them be a part of the process. Coaching the staff on best practices for patient experience. You know, not many people are doing this on a regular basis. The big hospitals are, they have programs in place to do it, but not many small to medium sized practices or have a, a, a process to do this. So that's where we pick up. And then using that feedback to improve, you know, getting the reviews is, is great as marketing assets, but also using that feedback to improve your practice experience, your patient experience is also critical. And then, you know, we assign a success manager to make sure all these things happen. The second objective is to increase your ratings and reviews. So we implement a process to generate reviews. Uh, we're gonna merchandise your practice with signage and review cards. Um, this communicates that you care as a practice. Uh, we deploy technology, including SMS, text codes, and emails. Um, so we've got signage that's custom for each and every client. Um, review cards with a custom short text code. Uh, we got emails that go out and text messages. And it's a combination of all these things that really make our program so effective. And let's take a look at this process in action. So this is real results. Uh, this was a recent client where we generated, um, let's see, we generated 428 Google reviews in the first eight months of doing business with them. These guys clearly dominate search results. We'll share with you that in a moment. Facebook, we generated over, let's see, 136 Facebook reviews in the first eight months. So again, you know, gathering feedback to these two sources is absolutely critical. You can see the incline here in new reviews. So as we put this program into place, we generated uh, a tremendous amount of review activity. Now, what did this result in? Check this out. When you Google dermatologist in Tallahassee, Florida, they clearly dominate with 477 Google reviews. No one's even close to them. The closest one to them is 164 Google reviews. So again, you know, you want to put a program in place um, that dominates search results, this is the one to do it. Next, transforming the reviews into revenue. This is the key here, taking the reviews. Whenever you get reviews right now, either it be Google, Facebook, Yelp, Health Grades, that review lives on that review site. 
So unless someone goes to that review site, they don't see it. So what we do is we take that review and transform it into a marketing asset. Now you can do this yourself, uh, but make sure you lose the last name to become HIPAA compliant. You don't want to take a customer's name or a patient's name and put it into your social post unless you remove the last name. So remove the last name, initialize it, do whatever, and then you want to bring it over to your website, your social media channels. You want to create a trust trigger. And trust triggers increase conversion. You want conversion. Conversion, it's all about conversion today. You want to convert website traffic to new patients walking in. You want to convert people from your social media channels to become a new patient. Create trust triggers on your social networks. So this is the Google review. And again, building a meme. Now you can see that this one meme, this one post, this review post on Facebook reached over 4,000 people. Now this is, you know, we recommend boosting these out to the area that you serve. A good practice is you can boost it to the friends and family of your current fans, but set that geographical area. You don't want to be targeting people two states over that represent no marketing value for your company. So you can geo-target in the area that you serve the exact, um, you know, friends and family of the fans. But this is your putting your, your patient's voice to work in your marketing. This is not you, the company, saying, hey, we're great. Come, come do business with us. Every, every company says that. This is your patient saying, hey, you're great. Go do business with these guys. What do you think prospective patients trust more, what you're saying or what your, your patients are saying? So it's, again, putting the patient's um, voice to work in your marketing. 4,000 people with that single post. So now that same Google review. Make sure it's on your website. Again, lose the last name. Make sure you're HIPAA compliant. But taking your reviews and putting them on your website, there's many plugins that you can use. We have a few enhanced ones. Um, so you know, we we like to show off real reviews from real people um, that communicate real trust. Next, um, you know, is to increase the practice revenues. That's the the, the main objective. Uh, we want to track the metrics, chart the progress, and show an ROI. This is an actual client's business. Uh, where we increased their revenues. We, we blacked out their name for confidentiality reasons. Uh, but as the ratings in blue increased over time, the green bar is their actual monthly revenue. And as the ratings increased, the monthly revenue increased. So again, there's a direct correlation between increasing your ratings and reviews online and marketing them out to practice revenues. So this program works. So let's take a look. Uh, let's just look at a summary now. Back up, cut. So just to summarize, uh, what we do is first and foremost improve your patient experience. You got to be focused. If you're not focused on this area, none of the else, none of the other stuff matters. Next, increase your ratings and reviews, and then dominate search results. You want to dominate those search engine results pages, and last, you want to convert those reviews into revenue. So let's take a look at one more case study. This is Dermatologist Associates of Tallahassee. These guys had struggled with new patient growth. Again, they had you know, contributed that to not being that attractive in search results. They had struggled to get reviews on their own. They tried a few different technologies. They tried to do it internally without success. They hired us in May of 2019, and just eight months later, we had generated, let's see, 800 and 73% increase in reviews, 428 new Google reviews. Uh, ratings grew from a 3.3 to a 4.7, and they've experienced a 24% growth in new patients as a result. So the practice revenues have increased. Uh, our practice administrator is very happy with us, but again, you can see the chart. As the ratings increased, we launched this in May of this year, as the ratings and reviews went up, the new patient growth went up as a result. It works. It's, you know, you implement this strategy, the result's going to be the practice revenues go up as a result of your new patient counts going up. So again, we are Reputation Sensei and we use Reputation Cycle Marketing. It is a four part, four level solution. Uh, review generation, uh, the management, uh, it's got culture built in. The culture is the coaching and training. And the best part is the reputation marketing and that's turning your reviews into marketing assets to build confidence in the local area that you're the business that prospective patients can trust. And what business owners find most surprising when engaging us is the low cost that we can do all this for. Typically our cost is less than a daily Starbucks habit for most Americans. So next steps, if you're interested in growing your new patient counts, if you're interested in growing your practice revenues, and if you're interested in improving your patient experience, take the discovery quiz. 
this will give us some more information about your, uh, your company and allow us to know if you're a right fit for us and if we're a right fit for you. The one thing that we know is when you implement the reputation cycle marketing strategy, you're going to see an increase in business. Thank you.